New on ABC 17 News at 6, a bill passed in the Missouri House of Representatives would give more power to the Second Amendment, but one that could hurt law enforcement. ABC 17's Megan Drakis is live in Columbia tonight after speaking with state lawmakers about what this would mean for Missourians if it became a law. Megan, you also heard from a union that represents local police officers. Yes, Devin Lucas, the executive director of Columbia Police Union, told me that some officers are for the bill and some are against it now. Some officers worry about the wording of the legislation. Today, the House bill labeled the Second Amendment Preservation Act passed with a vote of 103 to 43. It aims to give more power to the state in dealing with the Second Amendment by banning police from enforcing federal gun laws. But the bill would not only keep police from enforcing federal law, it would also allow fines of no less than $50,000 per occurrence. In a revision today, Republican State Representative Chuck Basie said they came to a compromise to ease police worries. Speaker and the, the sponsors of the bills uh, uh, worked very hard together and they came up with a uh, compromise and uh, instead of charging or going after individual law enforcement officers uh, they changed that to uh, departments. He said the main reason for the bill is to make the Second Amendment stronger. It's just a pushback to federal overreach and uh, there's a lot of uh, law-abiding uh, Second Amendment owners uh, or gun owners rather uh, myself included, that are very worried about uh, a crackdown on our on our rights. In a statement from Democratic House Minority Leader Crystal Quaid, she said, quote, as gun violence continues to spread unchecked in Missouri, House Republicans today advance dangerous legislation to make the situation far worse. She went on to say the bill empowers criminals and punishes police for working with federal authorities to remove lawbreakers from the streets. If passed into law, the bill wouldn't allow any tax fee or stamp to be put on any firearm or accessories and also wouldn't allow any tracking or confiscation of firearms from law-abiding citizens. And sources tell me this is on the fast track with the Senate to look forward move, to move forward with it quickly. Reporting live in Columbia, Megan Drakis, ABC 17 News. Megan, thank you. Our poll of the day asks if Missouri should ban the enforcement of federal gun laws. And as of 4.30 this afternoon, 72% of those 470 voters said yes.